every club has the dream. For some, it'll never become a reality. Forced into mediocrity for its entire existence. Well, that's about to change. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Simulation Smackdown. Hey guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games, and welcome to episode number one of the Wellington Phoenix Simulation Smackdown. Will they reach the stars, or will they be completely shithouse? So guys, before we get too far into this, I'm now going to jump up and throw the rules video at you guys, so you guys can come to grips with what the go is for this series. Okay guys, so here are the Simulation Smackdown rules. The objective is to win the domestic competition the chosen team is currently playing in using only simulated games. All games must be simulated, with the only exclusion being the final game of every season. We are only allowed a maximum of four full seasons with the current chosen club. Any player can be signed, provided we have the funds available. Only one pre-contract signing can be made per season, and if the domestic competition is won before the four season time frame, Simulation Smackdown is completed. However, we can choose to play out the remaining seasons for extra points. With that in mind guys, let's continue. Okay guys, so now that you are all up to date and refreshed with the rules, let's get into season number one with the Wellington Phoenix. Okay guys, so now moving into the board objectives. We don't care about any other objectives in this series except for the one labeled Domestic Success. So, what the club want from us is to run for the Hyundai A-League playoffs. This is a short-term goal and a very low priority. Now, what we're going to do with this series as well is mix the board objectives with our own objectives. If I feel that the board objectives are a little bit speculative, then I will set our own objectives. But for this Wellington Phoenix one, the long-term goal for us is to obviously win the domestic title in four seasons as stated in the rules, but before that, I would consider, if that does not happen, I would consider at least playing in a grand final as a minimum objective for this season. We don't have to win it as long as we get there. That's the sort of goal that I'm setting in this season for the Phoenix. So guys, here is our squad for the Wellington Phoenix. We have changed up the formation to a 4-2-2-2 to utilize all the positions that we have available at the club. Something I did realize about Wellington Phoenix after we had taken this on is that, yes, we have a substitute bench, but we don't have any reserves. So what a way to start off this uh, simulation smackdown by doing it the hardest possible way. So these are the players that will be with us for the first part of this season. We're about to get into the pre-season tournament which will garner us some more funds but on screen now will be our lineup so far if there are any changes I will be sure to let you guys know alrighty guys so we are now at the end of the pre-season tournament we did simulate all the way through this but unfortunately we did get knocked out by a Saudi Arabian side at the semi-final stage after winning our group quite comfortably so here's how our budget constraints are looking at the moment 3 million in the transfer budget and 28,000 in the wages. I dare say that this season will be spent probably renewing contracts for the length of the SmackDown and it will also go towards probably more free agents in the first part of this series. So guys, that is our budget situation. Okay guys, so here is our first signing in the first season for the Wellington Phoenix. We are gonna have to dip into the free agent market to get ourselves going for this season. And we have signed the young 22 Paraguayan left back in Dario Mendiseca to welcome to the squad. Okay guys, so Lewis Fenton has moved on from us and he has agreed to join Doncaster and he has left us for 300,000. Okay guys, so we finally make our second transfer for this simulation Smackdown and we've picked up Sylvian. I'm not even going to pronounce his last name because I'm going to absolutely butcher it but we pick him up. Alrighty guys, so we've now made our third signing for this 
Simulation Smackdown and we have signed Grego Lovrenchis, a 29 year old right back right mid from Hungary and he's on a one year deal with on $5,000 a week. We have now made our fourth signing of this Simulation Smackdown and we've brought in Edison Vega, a 67 rated center defensive midfielder on a two year contract. We have now signed our fifth player so far for this first season and we have signed in Vinicus, a 28 year old center back from Hungary on a five and a half thousand dollar a week contract. Another outgoing player at the club, Oli Sale is going to leave us. He's agreed on personal terms with Zamax and he will be leaving the club for 230,000. So guys, here we are. We have now made our sixth signing of the season. We have signed George Tukdeen, a 67 rated striker from Romania on a two year deal for five grand a week. So guys, that is about wrapped up for all the transfers we are going to make in the first part of the season. We do have quite a fair amount of money left, but I am gonna possibly save that to renew some contracts and some pre-contract or a pre-contract signing in the next window. So this is the team that is going to roll out for the first part of the season in our 4-2-2-2 formation. So Lovrensis, Vinicus, Taylor and Mendy Seca in the back line. Vega and Kopczynski in the center defensive mid. Two attacking midfielders in Mitch Nichols and Sabrin Singh. And up front, a strike duo of Roy Krishna and Took Dean. So now that we've got all that happening, guys, I will see you in the January transfer window. Okay, guys, so here we are now at the halfway point of the first season, and we will jump now into the standings of the Hyundai A-League table, and as you can see there, we are doing well with our self-set goal of making the grand final. Very well done in this first season. We're halfway through it, and we are sitting in the top six, which gets us contention for the finals. The top of the table is being set up there by both the Melbourne sides, Luckily, Melbourne victory, 12 games played and haven't even lost a game yet. But we are sitting in the six, so we are doing well for ourselves. Bottom of the table, we do have Sydney FC and the Newcastle Jets, my club in ninth. Alrighty guys, so we have made our first pre-contract signing for this series. And we are bringing a local lad, a local New Zealand lad, back to Wellington. We have signed Marco Rojas on a pre-contract agreement for $9,000 a week. So he will join us at the start of next season. Alrighty guys, so we are back into the January transfer window and we've just blown some money. We have made a new signing. We have brought in Stefano Minelli as the goalkeeper because uh, Sylvian here is leaving us at the end of the season. So we got him on cheap wages though, 1.6 thousand a week, which is relatively good. Although we did have to swap Fox plus a million dollars for him. But he does have quite a decent potential, one that is definitely good enough for the A-League. So we do have a little bit more money to spend. I just have one more signing in mind that we need to cover and we should be pretty well right to go. Alrighty guys, so here we are making another signing for our January window, spending what little bit of funds we have left, and we have brought in Victor Lekhal, a centre defensive midfielder on a two year deal for two and a half thousand a week. Alrighty guys, and picking up now a tried and trusted and probably final signing for this January transfer window. We have picked up Alex Grant from the Perth Glory, and we've picked him up for relatively cheap for going around 700,000. He has grown a rating since, which is fantastic. We've got him on a four year deal, two grand a week. Couldn't get a much better signing than that. And ladies and gentlemen, on another note, we are still in our transfer window in January, but we do have an outgoing from the club. Keegan Smith, one of our backup goalkeepers, has been sold finally to Trelleborgs FF. Uh, for $60,000, so we have got a very nice 40 grand injection of cash. Alrighty guys, so that is going to do us as we are now at the close of the January transfer window. So, I will see you guys at the end of the first season.
Okay, guys, so here we are at the final game of the season, and here's how the table stands at the moment. Melbourne victory on an absolute storming run on an undefeated season. If they can get through their last game against the Jets, undefeated. They will be a big fat zero in that loser's column. As for us, we are able to make the top six, only barely. We are playing Brisbane in our final game of the season, and we can make that six if we win it. So guys, let's get into this game. Alrighty guys, so here we are now for our final game of the season. We are at Suncorp Stadium as Brisbane Raw host us, the Wellington Phoenix. Here's the Brisbane Raw lineup. It's Jamie Young in goal. Hingit, Bowles, Papadopoulos, and Negro play as the back four. Mickelson, Pepper, Christensen, Botiak, and Stefan Mork make up a five-man midfield, and Adam Taggart leading the line. So unfortunately, our lineups were trashed in the pre-game animation, but here is how our squad is meant to be lining up. It's Manelli in goal, Lovrencic, Vinicus, Taylor, and Mendy Seca make up the back four. Two holding midfielders in Lacal and Vega, two attacking midfielders in Mitch Nichols, and Sapreet Singh, there we go, took Dean and Krishna up front leading the line. And Brisbane are going to get us underway for this game. Now, I did see earlier in the pre-game ramble that uh, Perth did end up beating, I think it was Western Sydney who they were due to play, which means we may not even make the top six now. It's all going to come down to goal difference, and I couldn't remember off the top of my head how it was going to play out. But this one is going to be a very hard-fought game for us. Lethal playing it through now to Tukton. Tukton sees Sapreet Singh on a run, going wide. He dumps in a cross. Are we going to get ahead on it? We do, but it's sky high up in the air, and Jamie Young's comfortably got that one. He goes out wide in Mendy Secker again. Sapreet Singh, plenty of space down this wing once again. Takes a heavy touch on. Dumps a ball in. Oh, and it's Krishna! Krishna gets in front of his man with a cheeky foot and plugs that one into the back of the net. 24 minutes in, and it's one goal to the good. Here we see Sapreet Singh going on a run down this line here. Dumps in a fairly decent cross. Krishna gets in front of his man, dinks a foot up in a really awkward position, and he beats Jamie Young, and that ball slams in to the back of the net. And the goal comes to Roy Krishna for his fifth goal in the Hyundai A-League. And Brisbane are going to kick us off for the first half once again. Taggart plays through Christensen. Plays down Mickelson down this line. Back to Christensen. Into Hingit now. And that's a beautiful stop by Mendy Secker. And a second one. He's come away with it very luckily there. He's going to have to pass this one off. It's come through to Vega now. Vega storming through the centre of the park. Can we get a ball out wide? No, we can't. Brisbane defence stopped that one. And now he's going to... Drop that one forward, but it's a relatively bad clearance. We need to put our defence on now. Botiak takes a strike. He smacked the post. And we get away with that one very luckily. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for the first 45 minutes. So after that first goal, Brisbane have pushed everything forward against us. But luckily enough, we come away so far with the only goal of this game. And as we roll into the sheds at halftime, it's Brisbane Raw nil, Wellington Phoenix 1. Okay, so here are the match facts as the boys are sitting in the shed drinking their Gatorade in the first half break. It's no goals for Brisbane. One shot, none on target with a shooting accuracy of 0%. To Wellington Phoenix's one goal, two shots, two on target with a shooting accuracy of 100%. Possession, slightly by 1% favouring the Brisbane Raw with 51%. To Wellington Phoenix's 49%. And Brisbane's passing accuracy much better than ours with 87%. To Wellington Phoenix's 81%. And Wellington are going to kick us off for what remains of the 45 minutes of the last game of the season. Can we sneak into the six and get a couple more games under our belt? Nobody gets a header on it, though. We do manage to win it back through Lechthal. Singh now. He's going to play this one wide. It's down the line. It's to Tukton. Plays it inside to Mendy Seca, who's playing quite high. Sapreet Singh at the edge of the box. Nichols now. Inside to Krishna. Back to Singh. Singh's going to take a crunch from outside the box, but it's well deflected by the Brisbane defence. And they boost now on a counter-attack. It's Adam Taggart, one-on-one, -on -one with one of our defenders in Stephen Taylor, who does not have very much pace. And they've played in a through ball to Mickelson, but that is offside. 
He's going to pass this one across. It's gone to Lechthal. Lechthal plays in a ball to Vega. Vega does well to keep that one. Goes out wide in Mitchie Nichols now. Back to Vega again. We see a free man open. It's Lechthal. Tries to take a touch on. Has to come back once again. He's played it into Tookton. Tookton with a fake shot at the edge of the box. He manages to wriggle free. And it's come off Christensen. The goal. What an absolute lucky deflection. But he's done it. He's banged it into the back of the net. 71 and a half minutes gone now. As you can see here, manages to find the space. Does his man with a fake shot at the edge of the box. Tried to get a strike off. Jamie Young, no idea what to do to try and stop that one. That deflection was wicked. And the goal comes to George Tookton for his 10th goal in the Hyundai A-League. And Brisbane are going to get us underway. 72 minutes played. In this 90-minute clash, Tookton manages to get another ball from Bowles. Oh, and that one's gone out. Is it going to be a corner now? And at the 75-minute mark, we make our first substitution. It's Kopkinski coming in for Lechthal, who's played a fantastic game today. Corner now. Mitch Nichols standing over. He's going to dump this into the box. Do we get ahead on it? No, we don't. But Vegas picked it up at the edge of the area. Takes a strike, but that one's well wide. Do we find some space there? We do. It's found Krishna. Krishna through to Vega now. Vega's got to go out wide. It's Mitch Nichols. Dumps in across. Krishna with the header. But it's a lucky save by Jamie Young. That one should have hit the back of the net. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have done it. We have beaten the Brisbane Raw by two goals. One of them very, very lucky. But it all comes down now to after this game when we look at the table to see whether we've qualified and made the six. And at the end of 90 minutes, it's Brisbane Raw nil, Wellington Phoenix two. Okay guys, so here are the match facts at the end of 90 minutes. So for Brisbane Raw, it's no goals, three shots, none on target with a shooting accuracy of a big fat zero. As for the Wellington Phoenix, it's two goals, five shots, three shots on target with a shooting accuracy of 60%. Possession heavily swung back towards the Wellington Phoenix in the second half with 54% to Brisbane's 46%. Four tackles for us, three for the Brisbane Raw. Passing accuracy balanced out between both sides. Ours went up, Brisbane's went down to be 84% for either side. Alrighty guys, so here's how the league table finishes after that, well, you could say final game of the season, but we have managed to sneak into the six. Very luckily, on goal difference, we've done our little mini objective. We have achieved it. We've made the six. I think that is a very successful season. Alrighty, guys. So this is what it all comes down to now. It's our first match, and which could very be our last match, in the elimination final of the first season. So we're just going to go into a visual sim for this match. I don't like the fact that we're playing away to the team that finished third in the league, but that's all right. We're going to go through. We're going to hit triangle, see how we go. And we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it through. It's a narrow margin in 1-0, but we've done it. All righty, guys. So we now head into the semi-final against the unbeaten Melbourne victory. What makes it even worse is that we are playing away from home once again as well. So we've got knocked off one of the Melbourne sides. I've got a funny feeling that we ain't going to knock off this second one. So we're just going to hit triangle and simulate through the rest. And, oh, we do okay. I'd, I'd take that. I would absolutely take that. It finishes one all with Melbourne victory beating us 4-3 on penalties. Absolute heartbreaks for the boys from Wellington. Okay, guys. So that is going to wrap up today's simulation Smackdown episode. So the eventual winners of the A-League toilet seat did go to Melbourne Victory. Not only did they beat us on penalties, but they also managed to beat Adelaide United 5-4 on penalties in that final. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave your comments and feedback below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already, and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that don't know, please jump on and join in the fun and the banter on the official Corner Flag Games Discord server. Links will be on screen and in the description below. For those of you that also don't know, I myself have started doing some live streaming on both Twitch and YouTube, so make sure you are following me on Twitch and 
Also subscribe to the YouTube channel with the notification bell tick so you guys will get notifications every time I go live on Twitch or YouTube. And I'll be back with episode 2 of the Wellington Phoenix Simulation Smackdown very soon. Oh yeah, everybody now.